Me and Danger Mouse met on the campus of UGA, a University of Georgia. We were doing a show as Dungeon Family there, so it was us, Outcast. I think the whole entire crew was there. It was pouring down rainy, and the show was cut short. I was trying to make my uh, escape back to the tour bus. The gentleman reached out to me in the pouring rain. He was dressed in one of those ponchos like Bruce Willis in the movie The Unbreakables. It looked just like that. And he gave me a CD. It was called Pelican City, and I will not lie. Uh, to you and say that I listened to it at all. I probably rolled up some weed on it or something like that. <coughs> a good friend of mine named Trey, faithfully enough, reintroduced us maybe a year or so later. He asked me, could he play me a couple of tracks? I said, sure. You know, I fell in love with him. I said, hey, I want to use a couple of these tracks. He said, I don't just make tracks, I make albums. And I said, well, she a motherfucker, let's do an album. Danger Mouse in the studio was just going through random instrumentals. I noticed that they all were very short. His theory was if he could hold my attention for a minute and 30 seconds to two minutes, then he may have something worth calling a song. And I didn't realize that's what he was doing at all, so I wasn't really in on the joke. Movies uh, and cinema always plays a big part because to me, I have to be able to see the song. The track itself has to give me some type of cinematic quality. More than I write radio songs, I feel like I'm scoring, if anything. Sampling music is repurposing. Take a piece of something, implement something else, mix it all together, and it becomes a unique and original idea all itself. definitely liked what I heard and it was almost as if it was like my pen was just I just became possessed you know to just be absurdly honest I remember when I remember I remember when I lost my mind it's probably the most honest I've ever been I'm always honest but I was you know I really got naked for that album so that's how you have these little I like to call little fortune cookies you know what I mean it's not doing too much, but it's, it's saying something so big without saying a lot. That's basically how it happened. It happened on a bluff. We got together for about a week or so. We came to Atlanta. We went in, tried our luck, you know, and the rest is history. What up, everybody? My name is CeeLo Green, and this is your one and only opportunity to produce a hit record for me. Can you believe that? Check this out. I teamed up with a company called TrackLib, the one and only online, basically, record store for sampling. So you got carte blanche to create. So this is what I want y'all to do. I want y'all to go to tracklib.com slash CeeLo. Download as many samples as you like. TrackLib is going to clear the sample. I'm going to do my thing to it. And if it's a hit, we got a hit, baby. We gonna go get money. You know what I'm saying? So don't hesitate. Bring your best. Bring your A game. I'm waiting. Let's go. You're in control.